chromic, iron, and globin. Pag macrocytic, B12, and folic acid. Pag divergence, ferrocytosis, and all the rest will fall under uh, normal chromic, normal cytic. Okay, next slide. Uh, next question, please. Next poll question, please. So don't focus on the product instead.
Type of Spoliated Syndrome or EPS EPS is a clinical autoimmune syndrome characterized by venous or arterial thrombosis and or an adverse pregnancy outcome in breast deep brain thrombosis as seen in our patient. Sometimes as part of the main plant, it can break free and becomes an embolus. This embolus can get stuck causing pulmonary embolism which is life threatening. A typical skin finding is needed normal delivery. Okay, wala naman pong komplikasyon nung uh, pinagbubuntis niya si baby. Uh, meron po bang nangyari na uh, problema po nung after na po nung manganak? Wala naman. Ilang days po kayo nag-stay po sa ospital? Two days. So, um, normal naman po ba yung tumbang? According po dun sa AB? Naalala niyo po ba kung ano po yung tumbang ni baby nung pinanganak? Or ano saan po kayo nagpapacheck up nung...
you can see, mild, moderate, severe. So, yung mild, na, naalala nyo yung table na pinakita ko, yung sa Nelson's. Di ba may nakalagay doon? Minimal or mild dehydration. Ay, mild or moderate pala. Tapos may severe. So, ito yun. Yung mild dehydration, itong fluids na pwede ibigay. Pag moderate ito, tapos severe. And then, listen, kapag less than 15 kilograms, kapag mild times 